Today we'll be exploring Google Meet. Google Meet is a web app that can help you meet with students face-to-face -face virtually. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to enable notifications for our channel by clicking our logo during the video. Also leave us a comment or check out our related videos by clicking the pop-up cards in the upper right-hand corner. Here's how to get started with Google Meet. First, go to meet.google.com. Tap on join and start a meeting and name your meeting. One thing you might want to teach your students is to turn off the microphone when you meet formally with them so that everybody's not talking at the same time and then to turn on the microphone when they want to speak. I'm going to tap join now. Notice that when I hit tap or I tap join now, I get a URL for this meeting. I'm going to go ahead and copy that URL. Notice that I also get the phone number and a PIN number for my students who maybe cannot join via the internet. They could join by calling in. Now, students would be able to see me and hear me, and I would be able to see and hear them. I can see who's in my class by checking on the people. I can also chat with the whole class and have a back channel at the same time. I can turn on closed captioning and that will transcribe everything that I'm saying as I'm saying it. If I want to share my screen, I would tap present now and that will present my screen. I could show class materials, PowerPoints, whatever I need to, to my class. Under more options, you can see you can change the layout, the settings, use a phone for your audio if your audio would go out, etc. Over here, you can get the joining info and share attachments with whoever's in the room. I'm going to end the call. And I'm going to show you where I would put that link. So I would come to my Google Classroom. I would say virtual meeting today at 8 a.m. And then I would add the link here. Any student or any person who has that link will be able to join the classroom. Another way that you can do this is to use your calendars. So if you're familiar with Google Calendar, you know that each Google Classroom has a calendar associated with it. So for all of my Google Classrooms, each one has its own individual calendar. When I tap on Calendar in Google Classroom, it shows my calendar for all my classes. But if I go to a specific class, it will show the events for just that class. So another way to schedule this is to use your Google Calendar. All right, so say that I want to have one tomorrow at 8 a.m. I would double tap at 8 a.m. Check my time, make sure that's what I would like it to be. And then what I want to do is I want to add conferencing. So I'm going to add Hangouts Meet. Notice that I get that URL again. And if I hit the drop down, It will also give me the phone information. It will also send students a notification 10 minutes before. Now I want to make sure that it's cho chosen the right calendar. So when I click on my calendars, I want to make sure I go to my e-learning demo. And I can also add a description here. All right, I'm going to tap Save. And you'll see that that added to my calendar. It will also add to the students' calendars right in Google Classroom so that they'll know that they have that coming. So there are two different ways that you can add your events to Google Classroom. 
One last thing is as you're meeting with students in Google Meet, you can record your screen so that if a student is unable to join, they could watch the session later. Google said that they'll be adding this feature soon to Google Meet, but in the meantime, you can use your favorite screencasting tool. Many of the free screencasting tools are giving away pro versions right now so that you can record for longer than five minutes. So be sure to check out their websites if you'd like to record the session. So again, that's how you can use Google Meet to conduct a virtual class. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, or reply to one of our other videos or share the playlist below. Subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that, you, so that you don't miss out on the next episode. Don't forget to check out our other resources like the Discast podcast and see what else is going on in Norrie County Schools. Be sure to follow at Dear Disses on social media or contact us via email or our blog.